Alright, I'm going to do a quick video on how to change tags on missions you've uploaded to the workshop. There's been a kind of a rash of people uploading things tagged as add-on, um, and I'm fairly certain that 90% of those people aren't doing it intentionally, and they're not trying to cause problems, it's just an accident, and they don't know how to fix it, because the fact of the matter is that the game does not really tell you how to do it, and it's not made very clear that you cannot change either the tags or the default image for a workshop item, um, on Steam, at least as far as I can tell. You have to do this um, for missions uh, through the publish menu in the editor. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick, and uh, it's very, very simple. You just open up the editor. Um, unfortunately, you have to load some mission. It doesn't have to be the mission that you're updating necessarily, because it'll bring up the same menu no matter what. Um, I hope that Bohemia will like add some kind of like a workshop management button to like the main menu or something just because it's a little bit easier and quicker to get into and it's the same menu for everything um, it'll automatically like kind of set up like a an upload for the mission you have loaded but you can change any of the missions you have you can see here um, this is the one that I have selected um, that I've loaded up in the in the editor but I can see all these other ones that are clearly um, already been uploaded. Uh, most of these are just private ones, but like here, for example, I've got this one. It's got all these tags. If I wanted to remove one, say for example, um, character, I can remove the tag, just hit OK, agree to the workshop license again, and then hit update, and it'll update it. This is also where you can change um, the default image. I don't believe you can change this through Steam either. Um, you just select an image, it's um, pretty easy to find an image. That way you have basically, this is the image that shows up when people are searching or browsing on Workshop. Um, it'll also show up in the top right corner on Steam. Um, so yeah, if you need to change that, then this is how you do it. You can't really change it on Steam. That and tags are the two things you have to change in this menu. As far as I can tell, there's no other way to change them. Hopefully this will cut down on the number of people who are tagging missions as add-ons. Um, like I said, it seems like most people who are doing it are doing by accident because they don't quite understand what the add-on tag is for. Just to be clear, the add-on tag is for PBOs that are loaded through the expansions menu or something like that. They're things that add, you know, content or uh, mechanics to the game, that sort of thing. They're not missions. Missions are completely different. And even if your mission uses add-ons, for example, the one that I have here is basically just intended just to use add-ons. This is loadouts that I have that use um, a couple of different add-ons combined together. Um, that doesn't mean that this is an add-on. There is another tag, dependency, that is used to signify the fact that your mission requires other add-ons. Um, and then if, you're, if your mission uses a map other than a vanilla map, there's the other map tag. So those are the two that you want to use for missions, not add-on. The only exception in this case is going to be apparently campaigns, which uh, from what I've heard cannot be uploaded unless they're tagged as add-ons because they're considered because this is the way that they're kind of packaged up and stuff like that. That's just what I've heard. I don't know if that's true or not, but if it's a campaign, then that may be the case for now because there's been an oversight. Um, but for actual missions, this is what you should do. You should never have um, the add-ons tag in here because it'll show up in the add-ons category, and that has been kind of cluttering it up. We've also got spam in there and stuff, so it, we want to make sure that Workshop is as clean and easy to use as possible for everyone. Um, and uh, yeah, it's important that we do that because it doesn't seem like there's a whole lot of policing going on on Workshop. I don't think Bohemia, either they don't have the um, option of doing it or they just don't have anyone to do it for them, which is fine. Um, but there's no one there to really kind of police and, and uh, moderate the, or at least the Arma 3 Workshop. And so we kind of have to police ourselves. So this is kind of a, a video showing you how to do that and encouraging people not to use improper tags because it does make it harder for people to find things that they're looking for and you know there's probably people out there who are taking advantage of the system I know there's definitely been one person in particular who I spoke to about their uh, their mission being tagged as an add-on and they basically sent me back a bunch of uh, curse words and stuff so I'm assuming that they're just trying to take advantage of the add-on tag to get themselves a little more visibility but let's not do that you don't need to do that if your mission is good it'll you know and you, and you do a good job of sharing it with people then People will find it, they'll like it, and it'll get attention. If it's not good, then it won't. And that's fair. So just put the right tags on there so we know what your thing is and we're not confused as to why it's tagged as an add-on and it's not cluttering up the add-ons uh, category and stuff like that. 
Uh, this is taking a while to upload. This has been taking a while for me in, in the past, but it's it'll eventually update. It should it should go through really quickly for most missions, but I don't know why it's being weird today. But there you go. That's how you change the tags and the default image in Arma 3's workshop. Should be pretty simple, so just do it right away.